Hey guys, what's up? Scottish Duck here once again, and yep, we're finally getting onto this one. Okay, you know, I remember back when I was, um, you know, went. This is just a recap video, so I don't mind talking over it. I remember when, like, um, I set out to do Half Life 2, you know, a few months ago. It was only because I just got a new PC and I wanted to record something with it, and I couldn't, like, get my capture card to work on the new PC either, so I had to. I was pretty much only on consoles, full, uh, only on PC full stop, so, yeah, I just, um, I actually completely forgot that I've still got to do episode 2 there, so, we're gonna do it now. Uh, now, just to say so, I have played through this game recently, right, this isn't gonna be like my episode 1 Let's Play, which was geek, where I just didn't know where anything was and kept getting stuck, and, eh, must have been so annoying to watch, but, whatever, anyway. But yeah, if you'll remember at the end of episode 1, as it's about to tell us, there was a big fucking explosion and there's that thing on Alex's belt that's really important for some reason, and yeah, there's lots of plot with rocket launchers. And zombies. And Gordon is nowhere in sight! Because he was never actually there in the first place. <laughs> Strider. <coughs> Fireworks, and yep, there's the big explosion that we saw at the end of episode one. So, did Alex and Gordon survive? Hmm. Right. Uh, before we continue, actually, I should uh, sync up the audio. Um, I can't sync up the audio right now because it's loading. Come on! It's only gone at one. It's only recording at one per second. Yeah, I can't remember any of the sort of little jokes that I used to make about the frame rate and shit. So, because it's been that long, but hopefully we'll get through it regardless. Come on. There we go. I was just playing with the mouse there. Okay. Heading escape. No. Okay, and heading escape again. No. Okay. Better remember to do that at the end as well. And we're only at 30 frames per second. How disappointing. It's supposed to go up to 60. Nah, fuck it. You can still friggin' record it. Hi, Alex. Go on and let me out. Oh, that may be of some use. Hold on a sec. I'll get you out of there. Ah. Let's hope this still works. I actually did change Sutton T in the sense, and I'm not sure if I it was a good thing or a bad thing to do, but hopefully it doesn't go under 30 frames per second. Kick this thing has. Here, you take the gravity gun. You're better with it than Actually, I hold on. I've just noticed. How long she had friggin' like duct tape on her sleeve? I've never noticed that before. Huh. Cool. Okay. Right, so yeah. Uh, stuff has happened. Some terrible, terrible stuff. And there's the plot. That thingy there. That is the plot. We have to destroy it. Where the fuck are you, Alex? Come on. Explain the plot to us. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna go over here and take a piss or something. You, you, uh, you explain it. There you go, Alex, yeah. So, yeah, this, um, I, I actually got a rant about this right away. I'm probably going to bring it up again at the, uh, oh, there's some plot. Oh, shit. Ah! Okay, um, 
I'm probably going to bring this up at the end of the game as well, but after beating this episode again, I really want Half-Life 3. I mean, oh, oh, I missed the set piece. Oh, well, but yeah, um, I think at this point it's pretty much confirmed that it's um, going to be Half-Life 3, you know, it's not going to be Episode 3. Um, but yeah, it's just, uh, I really want it now. Game will be awesome. I want it. Anyway, up to the mine shaft things. You're gonna be spending a lot of time in here, at least at the beginning of the game. Right, um. Oh my, ant lines and zombies and shit and girders. Um, where the fuck are we gone? Here. Ah. Here come some enemies. Let's use this against them. Right. I've still not really learned to be careful in keeping my distance with these things. As one should be when, uh... Handling explosives. Haha. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh man, they're all still alive. Place it carefully. Oh god, that fucking suicide bomber was gonna kill everybody anyway. Alright. Can we go to do some things? How convenient! What does that say? I can't read that for the life of me. It's in some foreign alien language, I can only assume. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, and just like at the beginning of each episode, it teaches you how to interact with stuff. And providing some comedic relief in the process. No, I do not- ah! I don't want to pick that up. I think I could only do it with the grab egg on there, actually. Congratulations, Alex. You're such a genius. Mind you, all we did was uh, put the plug in the wall, so... Was. White Forest. White Forest, this is our expanse. Do you read? White Forest, come in. White Forest, are you there? Alex, my. Dr. Kleiner, how you doing, my friend? Yes. And Gordon, too. We're okay. We made it out of City 17. Now, Alex, thank God. I can hardly believe it. Don't worry, Dad, we're fine. But something really strange is happening with the Citadel. Oh, yes. Portal equals bad, that's pretty much all we need to know. Who the fuck are you? Why are you such a tet? <laughs> Yeah, this guy just comes in. Ah! This guy just comes in randomly, and we're, he's like, "Yeah, he's a tet. Fuck him."
<laughs> that always freaked me out, those wires shaking a bit like that. Right, so, let's just, uh, now the door magically opens, let's just continue. Hmm. You didn't think I'd forget about it, did you? Because, for those of you that don't know, if you crouch here, we have... A Garnoma! Oh, holy shit, isn't he cute? See ya. <laughs> yeah, fuck that, I'm, I'm not doing that, okay? For those of you that don't know, you can, like, take that gnome, and if you carry it from this point, point in the game all the way to the end or just up to the end of the game um, you get yourself like a steam achievement for it sounds like a really fun little ex little thing to do but yeah fuck it I'm not doing that for the let's play that'd take forever so no ah not these things Alex kill it kill it <laughs> kill it Oh, dang it. And that's why physics rule. Right, there's nothing here, no. Yes, you can. Gordon is the um, is a master at doing such things. For instance, here is a fence. So how does Gordon Freeman get over said fence? He jumps over it. Truly a genius ahead of his time. Ooh, I was about to get up there. Oh shit. Hunters. No, not the ones from Resident Evil. I think these were new enemies introduced in Episode 2. Um, I could be wrong, but they're bastards anyway. I'm pretty sure we didn't actually um, fight any anyway. But yeah, there's another gate we've got to get open. Ah, you do that, Hen. So yeah, like I said, I've... Um, I've already played this, so there shouldn't be any getting lost and stuff, alright? So, everything should go absolutely as planned, with no hindrances whatsoever. Ah! Ah! It was so forced, I can't believe it! Ah! Ow. So yeah, Alex is dead. Huh? Oh, it's a Vortigon. I don't think we got. We didn't really get to interact with Vortigon in the first game that much, but. I, well, in the first two games, and I say games very loosely, but we get to interact with them a lot here anyway. Don't worry, I'll carry her with the gravity gun. This is the Vortigon mating call. 